Hello everyone. Welcome to the part three of the lecture one. So this lecture series is uh, comprising of different parts of lectures uh, based on the selecting suitable journals and paper submission to the care list and Scopus index journals. So if you have already seen my the uh, part one, part two of this lecture series, so you can understand the process what uh, about what I'm uh, teaching you in this way. So in the first part, we have talked about the different uh, journal indexing processes, what are indexing things and how we can understand the indexing process. In the part two, we have understand the different websites which, which we can understand the indexing process, different citation metrics, different other metrics of a journal like impact factors, SGS score, SNIP score, H index and quartile ranking. So uh, I have shown you different uh, website, different uh, portals where we can search on. So in this part, we'll be actually uh, uh, watching the uh, way we are uh, going to uh, select the suitable journals. So as we know that journal selection is a very critical process, journal selection is a very tedious process, you know, like we, we have to be very careful while we uh, select our journal because it should match our relevance, it should match the scope of the paper, it should match the technicality of the paper, it should reach the audience that we want. That is the important thing that the reader should be uh, from my own domain. So uh, because the more the reader, the more will be the citations and more will be the good feedback of my uh, journal publication. So that actually increases the uh, reputation of any academic uh, author or any researcher. So although in this uh, faculty development program, we are talking about the different kinds of academic writing practices. So the most important thing is the uh, journal selection and journal uh, choosing like for your particular paper. So this part of the lecture will comprises of the uh, selection of journals and it's uh, checking its suitability based on your paper and uh, decide to submit the journal. So let's start. So the first thing that we have to take care is to how to select journal from different publishers. As I told you that uh, in the last lecture, in the lecture number one or the part one uh, and the lecture number one, part two, we have understand that the uh, uh, there are uh, thousands of publishers all over the world and there are like hundreds of thousands of uh, journals available in the different categories, different subjects, different domain, different areas of science, literature, arts, humanities and social science. Uh, but we have to be very careful which journal we should select. We have talked about the predatory journals also, which takes money in case of publishing uh, just in false uh, promises. So we have to avoid that journal. So in the last lecture, we have identified that uh, how to uh, uh, how to know that we journal see the predatory, how to know that we journal see the decent journal to select. And we have uh, we have came to know different website, different web portals where we can search the uh, reputation of a journal. We can search the uh, different metric of a journal, different citation score of a journal, H index of a journal, H year of a journal. But we have not talked about the publishers. So when it comes to the uh, talk about the publishing house, so there are like uh, there are many publishers uh, in the world, but we have to select the good publisher before we can proceed to our journal publications. So now if you ask me that what is a good publisher? So there is no fixed rule for the good publisher, but still some publishers are really good, like the uh, Springer Nature, like Elsevier, like Wiley, that like Taylor Francis, Bentham, like uh, the uh, MDPI, Hindawi, and many more like Sale, different publishers, those publish a huge number of journals in all fields have the good publishers. But uh, it does not mean that the other journals from the other publishers are bad, not like that. We do. We cannot judge on publisher. We we can judge on the journal quality and reputation. But yes, uh, if you see that the publication house is some XYZ publisher in some local places or some uh, profit seeking publisher, then we should avoid that particular journal. So that journals are more pronounced to be the 
uh, predatory journals. So now we will see that how we can select the journals from different publishers. So first thing we will identify the reputable publishers in the field of research. So first we look for the publishers known for their commitment to quality, rigorous peer review and ethical publishing practices. That means that we have to select the publisher which have a strong editorial body, which have a huge uh, uh, peer review process. That means not huge in size, but in huge uh, uh, in capacity, like means they can uh, get the uh, peer review from two to three or four review anonymous reviewers, and they can uh, give a good review for the improvement of the paper. And they have a good uh, maintain a good quality in terms of the ethical practice and uh, other editorial practices. So we have to consider the publisher that specialize in the research area or have a strong presence in target discipline. For example, if we consider the uh, the, uh, the publisher nature, they are specialized in science, right? If we, if we consider the publisher, the frontiers, they are specialized in the science. So when you are, pub when you are considering the frontiers publisher, when you're considering the uh, nature publisher, Xavier publisher, these publishers are so much enriched that they are specialized in different areas, not only in science, social science, art, chemistry, uh, general science, engineering, law, all aspects of the uh, academic uh, uh, field. So we have to select the publisher which specializes in particular research area. So we have to explore the journal's catalog on their website. So what we can do, we can either visit a publisher website to access their list of journals, although it is not so much recommended because it's a huge list and you will be get confused and you will get lost while searching for a journal. You, what you can do, you can review the aim and scope of each journal as well as the editorial board and publication process. And also it is not recommended because it's a lengthy process. And you can consider the publisher's reputation, impact factor, indexing, and citation metrics. And uh, this, this thing is uh, uh, really recommended because if you choose a publisher, uh, if you choose a journal from the Elsevier, if you choose a journal from the Springer, if you choose a journal from the Frontiers, uh, if you choose a journal from the Cell, so this kind of big publishing house has actually a big, uh, big reputation in terms of the science and publishing. And, they and most of the journals uh, in their publishing house have a very uh, good impact factor. They have indexing in all over the places like Scopus, SCI, and uh, IEEE, PubMed, and all these things, and they get really good citations. So one thing you can do, you can visit any publisher's website, look for their journals, and sort the journals based on your subject, based on your research topic, based on their uh, publishing factors, or you can search on their publication time. And when you select one or two journal from their list, you, you go to their aim and scope. So in the last lecture, in the part two, we have discussed that how the relevance is important for our publication, like why the journal publication is important to check before uh, we uh, to check before we can submit the paper. That is the relevance of the journal. So most of the time, if you, if you are not careful about the uh, the scope of the or the aim of the particular journal, we submit a paper and after one month, two months, six months, they sometime uh, return our paper without being reviewed and saying that it is in out of scope. So that is a waste of time, you know. Like because for any academic uh, author, for any researcher, time is very important. Whenever we write a paper, we want that our paper to be published as soon as possible because uh, we don't want the other researchers should do the same research and publish before us. It's a kind of competition, what we uh, always look for, what we always strive for. So this kind of uh, competition we are in a present world, like, like thousands and uh, like not even thousands, like lakhs of researchers in a single uh, topic, in a single field are working all over the world in every university, every institution, every labs. Uh, and they're they are trying to get something new. They're trying to innovate something, uh, new ideas. So, and they want to publish them. So we want uh, the uh, publication should be faster, but although it's a lengthy process because publication is not a uh, kid's toy, that means we cannot play with it. So 
publication process uh, have many steps. Not only the steps involved in the submission process, but a huge steps uh, in during the editorial process. I am the editor in chief in uh, various journal, and I'm also the uh, section editor in different uh, reputed international journals. So I know the process because whenever we receive the uh, journals, I mean the papers from different authors. We have to be very careful about the editorial criteria check. We have to be very careful about the plagiarism check. We have to be very careful about the English writing check, grammar writing check, consistency. We have to be very careful about the copyright issue. We have to be very careful about the any kind of uh, similarity or any kind of uh, mis, uh, mispractice in academia. So after checking all these things, after checking all these quality measures, we actually assign to us, the editors, and what editors will do. Editors first read the entire paper, and he's not getting one paper. He's getting like hundreds of papers every week or every month. He has to read the entire paper and decide this paper is really suitable for the journal or not. If she, th if he or she thinks that this paper is really suitable for the journal, what he does, he choose and decide on his mind that which reviewer would be more uh, uh, qualified, like for this paper to judge. Because judging a paper, examining a paper is very important before acceptance of the paper in the peer reviewed journal. So peer review is a process where the different reviewers give their judgment on the paper. They decide this paper is uh, uh, eligible to be published or not. So when we editor get this uh, review from this different uh, reviewers or the recommenders or the suggestors whom whomsoever you are saying so they recommend us that okay this paper is uh, ready to be published then it's again started the long editorial process like revision improvements and all these process takes months and months of time after that uh, the the time comes from the copy editing you have to format the entire paper exactly with the format of the journal style then after that you have to copy editing then then uh, finally you have to do the proofreading then uh, what we do we, uh, we usually get the DOI the document object identifier we re uh, received our document object identifier for a particular paper from the uh, international uh, consortium then we assign that DOI to a paper and finally we pu publish that paper so when we publish that paper it is not uh, indexed in all the indexing side immediately. It takes a day, two, or sometimes weeks. So because uh, because uh, it it uh, it based on the visibility is based on the discoverability. So when it is getting discovered by different indexing site, it automatically get indexed in Web of Science or Scopus. So it does not mean that if you publish a paper, the next day you will find it in Scopus. It may not be true always because uh, sometimes it takes weeks or months of time to get the indexing. So uh, exploration of the journals and catalog on the website is very important. So uh, now we will be selecting, uh, we'll be choosing the journal based on the title and keywords and abstract as well. So how keywords is actually helping us to find the journal. So I just already uh, discussed with you in the various things that how we can identify your keywords. We can identify your keywords based on their methodology. So not the keywords taken from the related work, not the keywords taken from our abstract or introduction. We have to take the keywords related to our research topic and the methodology. That means in which field we have written that paper, what in which area we have focused on that paper. So those keywords identification is very important because if we identify those keywords, then we can identify a good journal. So we have to utilize the different academic search engines or the different journal uh, portals or the web portals to search for journal based on the keywords. So, uh, so the review titles and aims to identify the alignment of the research is also important. So what we do, so we access the, assess the title, we aim at a particular journal, and determine if they align with the research objective and scope. So it is similar to the searching the uh, journal website. That means when we go to the publisher website and search the list of journals, and we review the entire scope of the each journals, as well as the 
publication policy. So this is almost similar. So this is a kind of the manual thing what we do, and this is a kind of the automatic thing that we do. So that means uh, when we search a journal based on our title, keywords, and abstract, it's actually assess the titles and aims of the journal to determine if they align with the research objectives and scopes. So, and the next thing we have to do is the read the journal's mission uh, statement or description to understand its focus and suitability of the research. So now what you will do, we will, I will show you a live demonstration of the journal selection process. So please be careful and please uh, concentrate more on each step I'm doing because this is very important what I'm going to show you. This process uh, takes a lot of time to learn from uh, uh, yourself, but I'm teaching you this thing today, which I have learned in many months while I'm doing my own research in my PhD and uh, before that. So I will show you a step-by-step -step process, searching for journals and different websites or databases. I will show how to use the keywords, how to use the filters, how to use a search criteria to refine the results. I will show you how to provide the examples of different uh, journal profiles, indexing information, key details of the research ideas, and considering uh, different factors while selecting a journal. So, so basically, I will show you everything what you need to select a journal. So please uh, try to understand carefully, uh, although this is a recorded, uh, uh, FDP, so I cannot uh, answer you directly over here. So if you have any question, you can email me anytime if you want to know, uh, but try to listen carefully now. So there are different kinds of uh, publisher-based journal finder. So what is publisher-based journal finder? So one is the generic journal finder, which I will show of you to you, obviously and others are the different publisher-based finder. Publisher-based finders are like the uh, finding a journal at a particular publisher website. So you can search journal. If you want to publish a paper in only in Elsevier, you can go to this link, the journalfinder.elsevier.com, and you can uh, search a particular journal for your paper. If you want to publish paper in the Springer journal, then go to the journalsuggester.springer.com. Here you can actually find all the Springer journals suitable for your paper. If this is, uh, be, be careful and uh, be thoughtful that which journal you are choosing. So that means uh, the journal's aim and scope should be uh, chosen carefully. And keep in mind that this uh, will not give you the list of entire journals from that particular publisher. When you visit this link, when you visit this link and try to put your paper's title, abstract, and keywords, it will show only those journals which suited best for your paper. So that means it's a kind of AI enabled and the suggester system or the recommender system, which will automatically find journal for you. So it's kind of easy thing. Next is the IEEE publication recommender. If you go for the publication recommender, .ieee.org, you will find uh, the, all the journals suitable for your publication in IEEE. Next is the Wiley Journal Finder. So Wiley Journal Finder is a, fi is a website where you can find all the journals based on the uh, your paper, which are available under the John Wiley Publication House. Next is the list of publisher, publisher based on the journal finders, and these are the other links. The, uh, the next finder is called the MDPI Journal Finder. So MDPI is a journal publisher, which also has the, uh, their own journal selector process based on the uh, uh, title, keywords, and abstract. Next is the Sage Publisher and Taylor Francis. These two publishers are very famous and very uh, uh, reputable publishers. So Sage Publisher has their own website that sagepub.com and journals. And Taylor and Francis Journal Suggested is also a publishing website. So it's a, it's a long website link. So what you can do, you can search Google as a Taylor and Francis Journal Suggested. You will get this link, click on the link, and you will find the journal website. 
And the last journal suggested that I will show you today is the Hindavi Journal Suggester. So Hindavi is also a very big publisher which have uh, lots of uh, journals under them uh, in different categories. Although recently it's, a, it's on news that Hindavi is being uh, acquired by the uh, Wiley publisher. So Wiley is a very big and very old publisher. So Wiley has just bought the entire Hindavi publication house. So right now it is in the transformative process. Right now, like when you publish something in the Hindavi, it will be like Wiley Hindavi publisher, but gradually, gradually it will be completely converted into the Wiley publisher. So it's up to you. You want to send to the Wiley, you want to send to the Hindavi, or you want to send to the Wiley Hindavi. So there is always an option over there. So whichever publisher you choose. So obviously Wiley is more respectable and uh, reputed publisher than the Hindavi. So now let's see and uh, see a demo on how you can search on this link, a particular journal for your own paper. So here I have taken a particular uh, uh, a sample. You can say a sample title, keywords and abstract from my own paper. So I'm a computational neuroscientist. So I work on the different uh, development of different AI based and uh, deep learning based algorithms. Uh, to understand the human brain and the uh, and work on the neuroscientific aspect. So this is a sample title and abstract from my own paper. So the title is the detection of brain regions responsible for chronic pain in osteoarthritis and fMRI based neuroimaging study using deep learning. So the keywords which I have taken here are the functional magnetic resonance imaging the fMRI, medical imaging, osteoarthritis, chronic pain, deep learning, and classification. So you have to be very careful about choosing the keywords because these keywords are not like the hashtag. These keywords are the core elements of your work. So it should be taken only from the methodology part. And this is the abstract of my paper which is a smaller version of the intact summary of the paper. So it is generally the abstract is written within 200 or 250 words and not more than that. So it's the entire part, which have some kinds of theoretical background, some motivation, some objective, some methodology, some results and discussion and conclusion. So it has everything, but in a very short way. So now let's uh, open my uh, web browser and show you that how you can use this for a uh, uh, for a journal search. So if I if I open my website over here, the first website I'll show you is the journal finder by the Elsevier. So if you open the journalfinder.elsevier.com, you will find this page. So this page has a paper title, paper abstract, which is required. That means in this website, abstract is required. You have to uh, have the abstract beforehand before you search for the journal. Not only title will work. So first, let's try with this uh, Elsevier website. So if you copy the title over here, paste the title over here. If you copy the abstract from here, paste the abstract here, and just click Find Journal. This is so much easy, right? So when you click Find Journals, it will automatically show you all the recommended journals for your paper. See, it first, it is, it, it shows me only 40 journals, although Elsevier has thousands of journals, but it only show 40 journals suitable for my paper. This, this is a test match score. This is the ranking that how much my paper is actually relevant to this journal. So the first recommended journal is a neurochemical, uh, neuroimage clinical. It has a site score of 8.1, which is very high. It has an impact factor of 4.891, which is also very high. It has acceptance rate of 27%. That means out of uh, 10 papers or out of 100 papers, it accepts only 27 papers. So it's quite tight, right? And the time to first decision is four weeks. 
this means uh, until until when you can expect them to uh, respond back to you based on their initial decision initial decision means either the paper is uh, paper has gone to the review process or it is out of scope so it is generally within one month and if your paper is get accepted the time is very short just within 15 days your paper will be published if it is accepted so but this paper is uh, this journal is a complete open access journal that means they will take three hundred three thousand four hundred dollar as a article processing charges so this article processing charges is a very uh, conscious thing a very important thing that so what you can do you can select here that only show me the journals which has the uh, subscription based journal that means which has no uh, article processing charges now they are showing that the neuroscience is a journal which is uh, a good acceptance rate and a good impact factor but it has no publishing charges but still if you want to publish in open access then you have to pay three thousand dollars so this is the option not compulsion but if you select this it will be the compulsion okay so the next journal is a neuroimage it is also an open access journal the next journal is a neuroscience which has two options either open access or subscription and medical image analysis which also have two options then cortex which also have two options so these are the different uh, journals based on your uh, based on your uh, research paper so so the, the the lower you go, the rank will be getting down and down for your paper. Okay. So the next journal site we will search as the Springer Nature Journal Suggester. So here also I will paste the abstract. I will paste the title. I will select the subject area. So this is optional. You can either select subject area or you can uh, automatically make it default. So if you don't know which subject area will be suitable for you, so you can keep it just nothing. So and if you click the suggest journal option, it will automatically show you the best journal for your paper. So you can see the impact factor. You can see the first decision days. You can see the acceptance rate. Some acceptance rate are not public. So they don't want to disclose the acceptance rate. Some are okay to uh, disclose the acceptance rate. So these are the impact factor. These are the um, acceptance rate. These are the first publication uh, date and first decision date. So you can select that like, which uh, journal you will choose from. Next is the IEEE. So IEEE has an uh, uh, option to uh to do many things it can you can search the journal based on your keywords key phrase article title anything if you search the article title you can get the recommendation even if you don't know your keywords if you don't know which keyword you have to choose you can either attach your article and they will find the best keywords for your paper and then but uh, and then they will uh, show the best journal paper for you if i only hear the title and get the get recommendation it will show me all the journals of there which has the submission date submission time and this is open access available then open no open access available and all the metrics like impact factor and everything so this is how you can understand that how these journals are relevant to your publication same way if you go to the wiley publisher house you can find the manuscript title you can copy the abstract you can click on the find So currently, I think the server is down over here. I think they are taking some time. 
I think the server of the Wiley is not working. Yeah, the, the server of the Wiley is not working right now, so it's not a problem. You can find the uh, this website journalfinder.wiley.com anytime, and you can search the paper. Next are the MDPI. In the MDPI, I search for my abstract. I search with the title, and I click the search. You can also make some. Uh, uh, a selection, you want a SCI paper, you want a Scopus paper, you want a PubMed paper, what kind of paper you want, and they will show you all the uh, journal based on the ranking. Next is the Taylor and Francis. In the Taylor and Francis, you can, uh, you can either uh, check your journal based on your abstract, based on your title, or anything. So when you uh, give anything based on your keywords and anything, they will suggest a complete list of journals based on your uh, title or keywords or abstract, whatever you want to put. This and this will show all the journals under the Taylor and Francis. So it will show these are the journals which is uh, available for you to submit your paper. And this is also ranked in a uh, opposite, uh, I mean, uh, in a reverse order of uh, ranking. Okay, this is Taylor and Francis. Cool. So now comes the journal guide. So this is a website uh, where you can uh, actually find any paper from any publisher. So although it is uh, not so much recommended because uh, it does not uh, contain all the journals, but still it contains some journals. So when you uh, copy and paste the title and abstract over here and click the search, the journal guide will automatically show you the 18 journal matched your paper. So they will show not from a particular publisher, but from all the publisher, from Elsevier, Frontiers, uh, Volters, Kluwer, Elsevier, Frontier, Springer, they, should, they will show us all the uh, journals which matches exactly with your paper. So, so now we have seen the, the generic journal finder, we have seen the Elsevier results and many things, Springer, Taylor Francis, Wiley and many things. So so I hope that you have understood the process of selecting a journal. Although it's a kind of very tedious and very uh, uh, stressful work because uh, the selecting a journal is the most important thing which can help you to publish your paper in a good place. So, but if you have any query, you can email me anytime. And uh, so I thank you all for watching this, uh, the part three of our lecture, the selecting journal for this FDP. And uh, see you all in the next part of this lecture, in the part four. Thank you so much.